All right, y'all, bear with me. I'm out in my shop because I got food cooking on the grill. Oh, hang on. I got to tilt this so I pour it better. <laughs> there she is, y'all. There she is. I have looked long and hard for this beer since I first heard that it came out because I am a Rogue fan, first and foremost, and an IPA fan. And when you have an Imperial IPA with a fucking badass-looking dragon, looking sea monster shit, look at that, man. Look at that. Fucking amazing. I had to find it. Had to find it. Almost gave up hope. And I walked into a random store today and saw it. And I thought, you know, <laughs> yes, please. It's been a few decades since a colossal Clyde sighting has been reported. We're fairly certain the massive seed monster has been laying low off the coast of his favorite brewery. Word has it that after years of terrifying sailors and feasting on salmon, he acquired a taste for hops. So we brewed this imperial IPA with a colossal dose of Cascade, Chinook, Citra, and Santa hops in hope of coaxing Claude out to join us for a pint. I am so excited. I am like, nipples are freaking hard. Y'all, it's National IPA Day. Oh, it's been sitting in the back of my Jeep for about four hours. So I threw it in the freezer for an hour and a half. Froze up pretty good. Threw it a cold goblet. Holy crap, y'all. That. Oh, my God. Rogan has never, ever put out a bad beer, in my opinion. Every beer I've had from Rogan has been fucking top-notch. This. God damn. This is no joke. This is. It's hoppy, but not too hoppy. I've had enough beers with Chinook hops, and I could actually taste the Chinook in here. Motherfucker. 8.2%. That is tasty. Rogue? You guys, I tell you. <clears throat> I tell you what. I wish I lived closer, and I'm glad, kind of glad I don't, because you can see right over my shoulder, here's a rogue pumpkin beer. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> if I lived closer, I'd be in there all the time. All the time. I'd, I'd be broke. I'd be broke. And I can't really understand the politics of Oregon. I like going there to visit, but I love being in the free state of Idaho. <clears throat> but if I live in a state like that, I'd have to drink a lot of good beer like this. That... Hands fucking down. Amazing beer. Amazing beer from amazing people. With amazing locations. All their breweries are on fucking top-notch locations. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. The food is awesome. I've been to all their locations, all their breweries. And I love them. I love them. I don't have a favorite because they're all fucking top-notch. So seriously, if you're out in Oregon, check out Rogue River Brewing. Check them out. Seriously, you have to check them out. If you can find any kind of Rogue River ales, Rogue Ales, in any of your stores... From the you know the dead guy which is a real popular one, uh, bat squatch, colossal clod, the honey colch, um, and they've got all kinds of good stuff, y'all. I love Rogue, and my favorite pumpkin beer of all time comes from them, y'all. I mean, hands down, the best pumpkin fucking ale I've ever tasted. And that's why I keep this bottle here because I'm like, God, I love you, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rogue. Thank you. I'm so glad I finally found Colossal Claude and Pearl IPA. Check them out. Follow them. Give them a shout. Check them. Just seriously, you got to drink their beer. You got to enjoy it. You got to live that lifestyle of a Rogue ale. I mean, it's a fucking mindset. <laughs>